بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته peace to all of you who might view this video this is Imam Zaid Shakir and I'm here to tell you about an incredible individual and an incredible project that incredible individual is Sheikh Abdurrahman Tahir Ajam. He was a Sheikh from Somalia, a graduate of Al-Azhar University in 1964. His ijazah was signed by the great scholar of Al-Azhar in the Muslim world, Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. Uh, he was a master of the Arabic linguistic sciences of grammar, rhetoric, uh, logic, the instrumental sciences, logic, he was a, an incredible scholar. He was a, a person with a deep love for Allah subhanahu, subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. He was a person who respected the Islamic tradition. And he was firmly rooted in that tradition. And he articulated the wisdom and the depth of that tradition. And talking about Sheikh Abdurrahman Tahir, may Allah have mercy on him, who passed away in December of 2011. It is not just uh, uh, reflections on someone that I've read about. I've had the great, great blessing and grace to sit with Sheikh Abdurrahman, to read books of Islamic literature with him, primarily in the SBIA Masjid in San Jose, California. I've had the opportunity to drive him to his house. Uh, Sheikh Abdurrahman was truly amazing. He was a person who embodied the servant of Allah. If we can reflect on the saying of our great, great master, Ibn Al-Ta'ila Siskandari, when he said that whoever chases after fame is a slave of fame. And whoever chases obscurity and, and a lack of recognition is a slave of obscurity. And whomever finds the two states are, are equal with them, that is the slave of Allah. Shaykh Abdurrahman was a slave of Allah. In the sense that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him fame as the first non-Arab to be a broadcaster on the voice of the Arab, Salt al-Arab, emanating from Egypt during the time of Jamal Abdul Nasser, as, the, as an individual once held the ministry of religious endowments, uh, Wazirat al-Awqaf in Somalia, and other high-level government positions, he knew fame. But he also knew obscurity. When he came here to the United States about 17 years ago, Sheikh Abdurrahman was unknown. People would pass him in the masjid and say, who's this miskeen? Uh, maybe I can help him in some way. He was unknown, but he didn't uh, build himself up or broadcast himself. Those who came to know of his knowledge and were able to benefit uh, from him in that regard, they were blessed in that regard because Allah Ta'ala opened that path for them. Those who didn't know, he didn't try to build himself up to introduce himself as the former minister in Somalia, as the former broadcaster on the voice of the Arabs. He just took whatever Allah Ta'ala sent to him. And that's an indication of his deep humility and an indication on, of his contentment with the divine decree. Sheikh Abdurrahman was truly someone who was content with the decree, whatever it brought into his life. Brothers and sisters, the incredible project that we want to let you know about is a translation of the literary heritage of Sheikh Abdurrahman Tahir Ajam, translated under the title Selected Islamic Wisdoms by Koram Tai of Fremont here in Fremont, California. Koram Tai really brings the moving prose of Sheikh Abdurrahman to life. He shares with us the heritage that was not only shaped by his deep Islamic learn, uh, learning, but also shaped by his engagement with the struggles that were, were going on and being a part of those struggles during his lifetime. His engagement with the intellectual and, and philosophical currents that were shaping the Muslim world at that time. Sheikh Abd Abdurrahman was involved, and his writings reflect that involvement. His writings reflect his spirituality. His writings reflect his vast uh, encompassing 
of our Muslim literary and educational intellectual heritage. Now, Kurumtai through Al Al Faq Publishers is bringing this heritage to you so that you can share the wisdom, the life, the depth, the experience of this great, great scholar of Islam who passed away here in the United States after a lifetime of work and service in the Muslim world. Sheikh Abdurrahman, and I'll conclude on this note, he was also deeply involved in spreading the message of the Qur'an as a hafiz of Qur'an and Qur'an teacher, in addition to his other intellectual and religious gifts. He was working to establish at the time of his passing a, a Qur'an school in Hargiza, Somaliland. And that Quran school, which was up and running, I would more accurately say he was working to expand it and deepen its services and broaden its services to its community. And he would go annually to visit that school and to check on the children and to check on the teachers to see if they were okay. This is just shows Sheikh Abdul Rahman's commitment. He would travel there on his own expense and he had very little money and ensure that just to ensure that the students and teachers of that school were all right. He was a servant, brothers and sisters, a servant of knowledge, a servant of the poor, a servant of this ummah. And now you have an opportunity to serve his legacy by supporting the, the translation and publication of selected Islamic wisdoms. So we pray that you will do ju th just that, brothers and sisters. May Allah Ta'ala bless you May he bless all of you, and may your support of this initiative translate into great, great blessings and openings in your life. This is Imam Zayd Shakir, and I again thank all of you. We thank Koram Tai for the work that he's done on this project, and we thank al Afaq publishers for bringing this work to life. May Allah Ta'ala bless all of them, may he bless all of you, and may you benefit from this effort and support it. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله